I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will apply the learnings which we had about the discriminant b square minus 4ac. Now the question here is determine the value of k for which the function f of x equals to 4x square minus 3x plus 2kx plus 1 has two zeros right. So when we are saying two zeros that means the discriminant should be positive right so what we mean here is that b square minus 4ac should be greater than 0 then we get two zeros right now the question here is given this equation what is a what is b and what is c that is what we need to figure out now a is very clear which is 4 how about b now since x is a minus 3 and 2k we should factor x right to get the value of b c is 1 for us correct now with that let's begin and solve our question so what we have here is f of x equals to 4x square and what i will do here is i will take x common right so i'll take x common so if i take x common what do i get i will get plus 2k let me write that first 2k and then minus 3 times x plus the constant 1. Okay. Now we can clearly read what are a, b and c, the coefficients. a in this equation you can see is a is equals to 4, b is equals to 2k minus 3 and c is equals to 1. Okay. So that is this is a, this is b for us and this is c. Let me write here a, b and c. Now since we need two zeros, correct? So two zeros, that means what? Two zeros means b square minus 4ac should be greater than zero. It has to be positive. Now let's substitute the values and then calculate. So b square, that means 2k minus 3 whole square, that is b square, minus 4 times a is 4 for us, c is 1 right that should be greater than 0 this is the inequality which we need to solve so let us expand 2k minus 3 whole square when you expand it you get 4k square minus 2 times ab that means 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 3 is 12 12k plus b square that means plus 9 minus 4 times 4 is 16 with minus sign that should be greater than 0 now we can combine the constants here so we get 4k square minus 12k and 9 minus 16 right so that gives us so from 16 negative sign 16 is bigger so we get 16 minus 10 is 6 if you take away this you get 7 right is greater than 0 what we are looking for here is let me do it here so we have product p times q as 28 and sum p plus q as sorry it should be minus 28 7 is minus minus 12 right so the two numbers could be 14 times 2 now since negative is bigger so we'll take minus 14 and plus 2 when you add them up you get minus 12 right so we can write this in factored form let's do that factoring now 4k square minus 14k plus 2k minus 7 should be greater than 0. Now from here we can take 2k common we are left with 2k minus 7 and on this side we have 2k minus 7 greater than 0. 2k minus 7 is common so we have sorry let's take it to the right side and further simplify. Okay so we can take 2k minus 7 commas we have 2k minus 7 and the other factor is 2k plus 1 greater than 0 so that is the inequality for you to solve now how do you get a solution from here that's kind of very tricky so what we will do is we will find zeros from here zeros means 2k minus 7 equals to 0 or 2k plus 1 equals to 0 correct and solve for them so here we get the solution as k equals to 7 over 2 and here we get solution as k equals to minus half correct 
7 over 2 you could write as 3.5 and minus half you can write as minus 0 0.5. Okay. As you can see, we can actually sketch this, right? And from the sketch, things will be much more clearer to us. We have two x-intercepts for in k. One is at minus half, the other one is 3.5. And k coefficients are positive, right? 4k squared. So this will be a parabola which is kind of opening upwards like this. Now, clearly, k is positive in values which are on left side of minus half let me write minus half or on right side of 7 over 2 or 3.5 either way you want to write correct so if k is less than minus half then we could have two zeros and if k is more than three and a half then we could have two zeros you get the point right and therefore we can write down our answer that k we could write k should be we can write less than minus half or minus 0 0.5 or k is greater than 3.5 right so for these values we have two zeros let me write zeros will be 2 right so that is how we could solve this question. It's a very important question from test point of view. I'd like you to go through this video once again, understand the concepts, and then try another related question on the same basis. I hope that helps. I've provided you with the link on this video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.